Everybody, it's Steph with Killer Sites. So in this vlog, I'm going to talk about choosing your programming language based on the level of education you have or you want to achieve. Now, some of you may be confused. So what's this all about? Basically, if you're looking to get a job as a developer, as a coder, you have to consider what your uh, end game is because certain types of uh, code, well, certain languages rather, are not uh, open to people with no university degree. So let me give you a quick rundown. If you want to do Java coding, generally speaking, or C sharp coding, Python coding, generally speaking, you need to find yourself with some sort of of degree uh, because those jobs, the Java jobs, the C-sharp jobs, the uh, Python jobs, generally speaking, are found in bigger organizations, bigger businesses, where they're going to be looking at your diplomas, they're going to be looking at your level of education because they have HR departments, so they're screening in that way, it's bureaucracy. On the other hand, if you find yourself in a situation where you might not have a college degree, you might not be willing to go that full route for whatever reasons, then you need to choose other languages for your coding. And that would include, of course, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And my number one pick, of course, is PHP. Um, they all go together, by the way. HTML, CSS, JavaScript generally do not compete with PHP, whereas Java... C Sharp, Python, in many respects, can compete with PHP. Bottom line is, if you're looking for well-paying work, high-paid work, and you're not somebody who's going to be getting a college degree, then your best bet is to learn the web development stack with PHP. That means HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and, of course, PHP. And then, of course, you're going to have to learn databases and the SQL language. Now, this may seem like a lot, but if you have good courses, they focus in on the key elements of these languages, and they show you how to put it all together so it makes sense. Nobody out there knows every single thing about all of these languages. Uh, some people, you know, you might have somebody here and there who's pretty good at one or the other, but don't worry, you don't have to know everything. You just have to know the general principles and generally how to get things done. So there you go. There you go. So if you're looking to get into to development, coding, if you're willing to go all the way to get a degree, then you can look at Java, you can look at C Sharp, you can look at Python perhaps. If, on the other hand, you think you're not going to go to college and you just want to get a job quickly, then you got to look at web development using PHP for uh, the server-side coding. If you don't know what server-side coding is, it's code that sits on the server. If that makes no sense to you, then do my course, my, even my basic HTML course. I teach all that. That's pretty much it. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.